Uh, hi, hello. Yeah. Um, sorry. I'm dealing with some power outage stuff right now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just heard. So, uh, so you're in the north side of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm solely on my phone currently, so I don't have access to. Um, my my work right now. But. Okay, let me let me just go to the website and then uh, maybe we can talk you through things. Okay. Um, and, uh, and nevertheless, I will share the screen, although you will not be able to see it. Just remind me if I forget to. Uh, so I have share now the screen. So let me press this, and then uh, let me add them. Uh, that's the review of personal wear. Okay. So why don't you get started with your questions? Oh, uh, maybe I make a comment. So um, I looked at this paper today and yesterday. Uh, so naturally the conclusion is missing and the acknowledgements is missing. So you do a good job with references and stuff like that. However, there are too few references in there in order to make a developed paper. Um, so I, I would recommend that you um, start looking at, this is not a project, right? This is a report, is it correct? Can you hear me, Adam? Sorry, yeah, uh, I do have some code that I, that I ran to generate those graphics. Yeah, good. That that's uh, that wasn't entirely clear from from uh, from the thing because the abstract was missing. Oh, and, oh, and you need to be telling you know we uh, you know you're doing a project or you're doing a report. Well, not 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 in this words, but you say this is I will be analyzing right. And then, right. And then uh, the pointer to your program is missing, so that's the reason why we couldn't, why, why I couldn't uh, figure this out. So there needs to be somehow a pointer in your program. Mm -hmm. uh, then um, uh, the one thing that was unclear to me is, is um, when you look at the data of the jogging data for the mail, um, that's naturally one aspect of what what you have done. And I assume you have actually calculated, you have gathered this data yourself, or did you? Did you use someone else's data? This was an open data source. So this was, um, it's pretty easy to gather. It's just, you have an app on your phone and launch a recording and it just yeah. you do the action and it will give you those results, so. Yeah, I, I previously commented on um, that, that uh, sleep is missing in this, in this data set. Can you yeah. verify if uh, sleep is actually included? And then um, one thing is, is um, now this looks just at the data as far as I can tell, but what are you really doing? So what's the analysis that you're doing? So right now you're just simply saying, oh, here's a data set and this is what's in the data set. Um, my analysis really focuses on um, just the ease of classification of this data set, like how, how possible is it to go through this and classify um, different types of movement? And then um, pretty straightforward. And then from that, I'm just determining if, if it's simple to classify, um, is it something that can be used in uh, analysis for like on the medical side? Uh, good. So now, um, since you're using scikit-learn for this, mm -hmm. um, you also have to explain what classifier you're using. So there are multiple different classifiers that you can apl yeah. apl apply. And so um, if you then look at your, at your report, this is where it falls short because you have the right idea. You, know, you have a data set, you have the scikit-learn, you do an analysis, but on the descriptive part of this, um, you are not conveying to the reader really what what you're doing, you know, and, and naturally you should be starting uh, that part, and also you know work on the conclusion section. Uh, you don't have to add any acknowledgments if you don't want to, so that's not good. Um, that one. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah. uh, but but uh, but the other sections are rather important. Do you have any further questions? Because I think that pretty much summarizes on your end mm -hmm. what needs to be done. 
no, I think I, I do have a good direction of where I need to go. Um, I think I have added some stuff since then, and I have more uh, citations that are in there currently. So um, just I'm still making progress. Good, very good. So then don't underestimate this. This is an yeah. opportunity for you because we have given every student an extension uh, because we want that everybody really gets a uh, gets an A grade, right? So and right. the points that we are making is towards, you know, how do you get an A grade, not how do you get a, get a D grade, right? Mm -hmm. So, so for, for a D grade, we don't comment anything. Right? So just, just make sure that you get this done. And uh, there are also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight comments that I've made previously. So please address mm -hmm. them. Okay. Yeah, I stole those from your Piazza right yeah. comments. So. Yeah, sounds good. So um, I, I think uh, if you have no further questions, we can then move on to another one. You you are feel free to hang in here in the phone call, okay? Um, if you if you want, but you can also leave it and start working on your paper now. Since your power is out, it's really problematic, I guess, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll have to find somewhere else. But yeah. So, okay. Uh, I don't know if you if you have this ability, but I actually got myself an unlimited. Uh, um, uh, the data phone. and what i do if i have the power outage because i had uh i had several power outages this week also um uh, uh, you um, i just uh, tether my cell phone to the computer and so oh, yeah. i'm working on my computer while i'm then uh uh, you know, burning up the battery time of my computer, <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, still can work. So just uh, make sure you know you are aware of this uh, that you can do also stuff like this. And if you have a tablet, maybe uh, you can have a Bluetooth keyboard and use this uh, on your tablet. You know. Yeah, something. I can. I can def I can tether my laptop to my phone. So and you can, can have eight hours battery time. So this way it <laughs> doesn't get by so boringly. Okay. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, so in my case, for example, you know, when that happens to me, is, is everything is out. You know, networks out and, and whatnot. And sometimes this week really happened something really strange. I had an outage of six hours of no internet, uh, and I didn't notice uh, uh, notice this, but, but it wasn't uh, wasn't actually on my side. It was actually on on Google's side. And, oh, wow. and um, I yeah. didn't receive email messages for about six hours or something like this. So it was really bizarre. Um, so well, okay. somehow I still have Wi-Fi. So. Okay, good, cool. So then uh, let's go to the next uh, person. The next one uh, that was there was uh, 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 Kalei, right? I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. No, yeah. it's Kalei. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so... Um, let me let me just go to um, which number of project do you have? Um, Three seventeen. Three seventeen. Oh, yeah. um, okay. So um, I share the screen. Obviously, you should be uh, following our comments that we have done here in in the top. I repeat once more: this is a good opportunity for everybody um, uh, to be reminded that there is this report being created. So you can click on this report and here you see two things. The status you don't have to look into at this time because that's just simply saying is as if you had set it to final or not, this is more a flag for me. But here the check report, you go in there and um, uh, you, you, can, you can take a look at this and there's this build feature here and, and it actually, actually uh, tells you all the errors that you have done, the syntax errors that you have done in your markdown. And we would like that you, uh, if you realize that, that your report is not showing up as green with the check report that you immediately start filling these things out because it costs us always time to look over these things. And we will not look at your report if they are not being uh, green, syntactically correct. So if you can do this during this um, hour that would be great. So let's go back to your report um, and let's take a look where you are. So it looks like that you have a good structured table of content. Um, as, you, as you see, as this is, as you have section four and five, um, they stick somewhat out. Um, is this part of the analysis? Should that be indented? Or is this a sub separate section? 
So you may want to think about this. How do you want to structure the table of content for the four and five, right? So um, now let me just see. Um, so I if, saw you um, you put on Piazza like last week about like a data set and analyzing. So yeah. I'm, doing a I'm doing a report without the programming part. Um, okay. And so I was wondering, would you want like, because I was kind of like talking about um, how like big data impacts like the NBA and stuff like that and how like NBA can use it. So yes. Yeah. Were so, you wanting me to get a data set and then explain like yeah, no, no, that you first? You yeah, if it comes down to a data set, then you simply say, it says, okay, there are these data sets available and they're used for that, right? So that's part mm -hmm. of, your, of your paper. Okay. In addition, you will have to saying, oh, now that I have the data, here are some some algorithms that are doing this particular analysis. You should not just say this is they are analyzing the best player. Uh, you should be analyzing what methods they're using internally to analyze the best player. Like for okay, example, are they using clustering? Are they using artificial intelligence? Are they using uh, some uh, 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 ANOVA pipeline algorithm or, or something from scikit learn? You know, you have to really look at the papers, and then uh, uh, here, as you as you can see, as this is, um, uh, you don't have to put the plan of action anymore. So just yeah, I'm gonna delete that. Take it, delete. take it out. You can put it into a plan.md file. Uh, we would like to have this, and then um, uh, naturally, the number of references you have for a report is just too small for this particular field. Okay. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, watch spelling errors like here online. So you make it all consistent and stuff like that. So I think that uh, summarizes my, my comments to, to what you um, uh, are doing, right? Mm -hmm. And then so, in, in abstracts, you can't have um, abbreviations. You have, to, you have to use the full. Uh, okay. Okay. Any other questions on right. your side? So, so basically, uh, I could probably could. Do you think I could like keep what I have, but then add um, the tools that they use and stuff like that in a section, but then keep what I have like as an explanation and stuff. That's correct. You know, okay, and, great. And, and because this is um, this is called national basketball. Uh, you know, this is about a basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, there is there are data sets available, and you will have to probably put it in into you know maybe the background section a section that says this is available data sets. Okay, for so sure. Describe what they are. You can even list them just with a bulleted list. Okay. Um, um, okay. Any other questions from your side? Uh, and and we need to have pointers and references to these data sets, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically it. Yep. Okay. Thank you for attending. All right. Thank you. So let's let's go to the next person. So I have I, I don't know who who came next. Uh, so uh, uh, why don't we go with someone? Um, uh, there is uh, Kunal. Um, I see it on the on the list next. So let me go back to the web page and search for Kunal. You can also mention your number to me. Then it may be easier. So this is the music multiplication, yeah, uh, stuff. So as, as you see, this is your your, um, uh, your table of content is pretty uh, messed up, <laughs> as you can see, right? So uh, because you don't have the numbers correct, and we don't know if you only and your analysis uh, are you um, in, in doing data collection. I think you you need to have more than just data collection in your analysis where you where yeah you... Um, I I'm still working on it but I tried fixing it I think yeah. um, when the report updates it might show those changes yeah and uh, so uh, so um, I looked at this multiple times before and I think you're doing a good job with with the rest of this and then naturally here this is not a PowerPoint presentation and here when you have a section five there must be a paragraph underneath you can't start a section with a following with a subsection and then in, in subsection 5.1 you can't have a subsection starting so you have to have introductory 
paragraph that introduces each subsection. Okay. Right? And if this, for example, is a, is a header, the numbering is missing. And we do the numbering on purpose so that you see that, that your table of content is messed up. Naturally, if you yourself don't have the table of content correctly, the reviewers will get confused because they should not be, um, uh, uh, they should not be guessing, you know, how do you structure your paper? You should give them the structure of the paper. Um, and then uh, let me just take a look. Yeah, you have the uh, tables, that's uh, all good. Yeah, I, I saw you had some, um, some good figure and uh, you do the figure uh, here correct. That's really all nice. So just make sure that you that you do all the other ones. I think uh, uh, again, as I as I said, is don't underestimate the time it takes to fix these things um, and to integrate them properly. When it comes down to uh, to the algorithm, make sure you describe what the algorithm is doing a little bit, right? Right. Don't just simply say this is, I'm using, you know, in some other papers I says I'm using scikit learn to do my analysis, and then they don't describe what they do for the analysis, right? And uh, right. as you know, scikit-learn, there, there are 100,000 different, different uh, algorithms in here. So be specific, describe what they are doing. Okay, yep. any other question? Uh, no. Um, uh, one fa favor that you, um, for everybody that's on the phone call, once I have uh, spoken to you, can you go in, into the post that I made with a long list of students in the student answer and enter your name in the student answer this way? I know that that uh, you have been spoken to me. Okay. Oh, um, I did have one question. Yes. This is um. I think last time we talked, my report wasn't being tracked. Um, it was. It was in the. Yeah. Now it's in the. It's in the. Uh, it's in the report paper. We are, we are tracking it because okay. it shows up as green. So I, as you see from the page, I've removed this, uh, this page that say, is simply saying we are not looking at your stuff anymore. Instead, we replace it. <clears throat> we don't look at any reports that show up as check report as right. Okay. <coughs> any other question? Nope. Okay, good. Uh, then let's go to uh, Henny. Uh, again, I apologize if I pronounce these names wrong. I'm from a different country. Uh, no, we, would pronounce, right. we would pronounce it honey. <laughs> uh, so life is good. Um, yeah, I have already your COVID nineteen analysis. So again, uh, please yes. the the con the uh, the thing that we have here, as you can see, is this is this, this, um, this paper at this time will provide a challenge for grading, mm -hmm. because um, it is not going beyond a. An, a a project proposal, basically, and um, uh, we we haven't seen anything. Now, yes, now this paper uh, uh, would result in. Um, well, I, uh, I I I don't want to discuss the grade here, but remember that the um, grade for the project is a significant portion of the class. If you get a very low point number, I say this to any student, into the in the project, there may be a danger that you may fail the class. Yep. So I would urgent urge you to uh, to work on this. Sure. Uh, I just want to provide a little explanation very quick. Uh, well, look, I... You don't need any explanation why you have not worked on things. This okay. is a meeting for this. We really okay. do not, we, we, this is a public meeting. We don't need any explanation from anybody. What this sure. meeting is about is, is we want to help you. If you need help with technical or with administrative things such as GitHub, please sure. get an appointment with the teaching assistants. Sure. Uh, I just, um, um, I have done a uh, few work uh, on the side. I didn't put anything in the paper yet. Uh, one, but, wonderful, wonderful. So if you do that, yeah, then uh, I would encourage you. Yeah. To, uh, so I, I can. Uh, so we, 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 we go here to, for example, your GitHub repository. In the GitHub repository, the TAs will be looking at your contributions. 
yep. in the contributions, they will see when you have contributed things. And it looks like that you have contributed quite a bit here, but more, more recently you haven't done anything, right? So, um, uh, so that's one of the things that, and, and they can even take a look at your commits. Mm -hmm. They see what you have done, uh, when you have done it. And as you can see, this is, this, you have done nothing for the last 17 days. However, you're saying I'm doing the stuff all by myself at home. However, there is nothing that help that prevents you from checking in the work that you have done at home into yeah. the GitHub repository. And this is why we do this so that we can make sure that you are still with us and actively working on your project. At this time, it looks like that you haven't done anything for this last 17 days. There's nothing you can do about it, right? Uh, yeah. But uh, what, the, the solution to this is, is, is to start committing today, right? Yep, yep. That's that's my plan. I'm going to move all my work. Uh, the, the things that I uh, really failed to do is provide, uh, you know, like uh, status on what I'm doing. Uh, but my plan is within the next couple of hours, I'm going to move everything that I have done on the side uh, to GitHub. So things start uh, to show here. Uh, I know the track here is really doesn't look good, but... Uh, Yes. Yeah, so so uh, here's another tip. When you're here in your project, create uh -huh. a code. Yeah. And put your code in there. Don't put any data in into the GitHub repository because it's maybe too big, depending on what kind of data you have. Yeah. Uh, have the download function, you know, work on this stuff so that we can see that next to the project, you actually do have some code. So um, part of my code uh, is uh, web scrapping where I uh, download CSV from a WHO organization. So I, that will help because they update the CSV on daily basis. So anytime uh, anyone look at the code, they will see uh, very, very updated data there. And That's beautiful, absolutely fantastic. I love yeah. the idea, why don't you? Uh, don't check in any data, but check in the program, and then you write yep. your, write in your report. Is this, this, this is because of the uh, way the data is being yep. uh, scraped? Uh, you will um, uh, have a different outcome when you rerun my program. Yep. Good. Fine. Very well addressed. Thank you. Okay. Good. Any other question? Um, just. Um, uh... Um, I might include some uh, images, which really I don't want to do that. I want to have a life thing better than uh, images. But oh, in case include, if I want to... Please include images. Okay. Uh, when I include images, I see uh, there is a blob folder that it's supposed to contain these images. Uh, I'm just confused between uh, where this blob folder should be, because I saw some people have their project underneath main. Uh, mine is uh... underneath main. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. So, so then add. You can create a new new folder for you here. I'm just doing this online called images. And perfect. Then, uh, I say here. Uh, uh, and MD and say uh, put Im images in this folder. Awesome. All right. So I can move Beautiful. The and so um, now if you look at the project, this was all discussed in the post and how do you structure your, your project? Okay. And again, now you, know, you can make next to the project here, you can make a code repository where you deposit your code. This yep. way you have it beautifully structured. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any other question? No, that's all I have. Thank but you. Make sure that you go to the post today with the names and sign yes. off student answer. Okay, so let's go to the next person. So um, that can we do us first because we come in so so early, but wait yes, so long. Yes, absolutely. I I I I agree. So let's uh, go go back to the to the web page. So let me close the other pages here. And uh, can you remind me about your? Uh, your ID? Um, free 15. OK, so uh, yeah, OK. Uh, yeah, so we had a very long discussion previously on this on this uh, thing. And I would like uh, to remind you that you are not following the template. 
So you and can I don't, yeah, that is the question that I don't get because be every a, time uh, when I let me let me just uh, uh, I interrupt you. Uh, yeah, here. right. Let me just uh, say uh, that uh, last week we have actually shot a video to sh showcase in that video how do you copy the template and how do you make this thing correct. I would really like that you watch the watch the video, but in case you have missed that, I can go here and simply say, what is your, our template? Sample report markdown. In this report markdown, you see here the top portion of this of this template basically, which includes these buttons here. And these are really important for us because we see then uh, what what the status is. So you you just have not done that. So as you can see, this is, there's this page in for those keywords and so forth. Just make sure you, you look at this template and you just repeat it, right? It's just like filling out a form. You just fill out the form. You just happen to have not used the right template, I guess or made up your own initially. Cool. You understand? Yeah. Okay. So as, as I said, everything is on this web page. So we have posted this multiple times. So now let's go back to the content, which I'm a little bit more uh, concerned about. That was three on five, uh, three on five. Um, oops, oh, no, yeah, I lost it now. Three on five. Um, so if you go to this uh, web page, this is uh, probably one of the largest projects that we have in class with three people. So this ought to be by nature, the best project ever in the class because you have three people. There is an issue, this is, as we have discussed last time uh, that you know each of you needs to be uh, addressing a subsection, you know, like my suggestion was using hand gesture, body gesture, and face gesture, so that you cover all the gesture recognition and make a complete survey. So if you if you take a look at this, um, um, you are three people. Uh, in my view, if you're three people um, uh, and you do a survey, each of you needs to have six references. So there need to be 18 references there, in my view. So, um, but the 10 references may be all you need. However, when you look at the, at this, at the sections and you look at, for example, the, 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 um, uh, the, the discussion of this, it essentially says this is, um, uh, there exists something like facial recognition, but it doesn't describe what algorithms they're using, how they're doing this and what they're doing. It just simply says, oh yeah, by facial recognition is a really important thing. And uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a $25 billion industry. So what's the next thing that you would have to do in this facial recognition? Uh, you will have to look at the algorithms. You will have to say, this is okay, paper number X introduces a, um, yeah, this particular algorithm or this particular algorithm is used in facial recognition. Are there other facial recognition algorithms rather than the one facial recognition algorithm that we all find from Kaggle? That's one of the questions that you need to be answering, right? So as far as I see is this, is this paper just simply says there is data there, there's a problem existing that's called facial recognition but it doesn't dive in at all in any kind of depth in anything, as far as I can tell. I may be wrong on this. So um, I would, I would uh, suggest that you will be looking at, at my comment very carefully. Re remember, this is, a five, uh, it's, this is a three person project. This ought to be the best project in the class or report, I would say, is you doing a report. So make it the best report in the class. That would be fantastic. Okay. Do you have any other comments for me or no. questions? Yeah. I'm not actually not. But I think we did include some like uh, algorithms things like uh, in the uh, I think uh, I think it's like the scan recognition part. 
like the gesture recognition, I think. Yeah, well, well good. Then, then the yeah. person that has apparently done gest uh, gesture recognition seem to have done uh, a, a good job on this. Now the question is, is this, um, um, uh, how do the other people are looking at this? Should, there, should the paper be restructured um, to have in each, so here, like for example, here, if you see the algorithm, there's a clearly a section called algorithms there. Um, and, and this section should not just be gives a segmentation of the importance of algorithm, that seems an incomplete sentence, but it should be algorithms used for gesture segmentation, or uh, is there a, what is the difference between gesture segmentation and gesture recognition, right? So, so maybe there should just be an, a, a section 3.1.4 or maybe 3.1.3 .3 should be renamed to 3.1.3 uh, algorithms or gesture rec hand gesture recognition algorithms. And then you, you discuss what segmentation is and what other algorithms are and, and so forth. So just be very consistent with this. And then you introduce this in each one of the other sections also. Okay. Right? Well, so right now, when you look at the table of content, it just looks like you're describing a problem. There isn't really any, any analysis of the algorithm visible to the, to the reader other than this particular section. Okay? And this particular section even then contradicts the, the, uh, uh, the name, nomenclature that you have introduced before where you just use hand, hand recognition. If there is, for example, sec, a gesture segmentation as a sub problem to hand gesture recognition, that should be probably being mentioned, right? And then the question becomes is, is are there any other uh, important uh, uh, feature as part of hand recognition that is not gesture segmentation. Huh? These are just open questions. Yeah, we get it. Yeah. Okay. Any other question before we move to the next person? Uh, no. Okay. Wonderful. So, uh, so good progress um, uh, from from last time. So you guys are on the right path. And um, uh, just uh, just uh, don't underestimate that. Uh, uh, and then when you have um, citations, I know footnotes typically are done after the comma, but we are using a different syntax because we will convert these reports at one point <coughs> to proper, uh, citations, not footnotes. So please do when you have a uh, have a dot in front of the uh, uh, comma that that uh, you 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 do this. If you were to have the um, the icons here, I could be clicking here on the icons and showcase you what you have done wrong. That's the reason why we want you to have the icons here so that it actually automatically also showcases you on this page what you have done wrong. Okay? Okay. Okay, make sure that you uh, sign off in Piazza uh, in the student answer that you have attended the meeting. Okay, thank you. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Yeah. So uh, who's next? Uh, who wants to go next? Hi, this is uh, and, uh, Vishwa. We are uh, this is 3116. Yeah, yeah. 316. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, ongoing issue. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I, I, this is the paper I spent the most time on in the entire class. So, oh my God. Yeah. so that's the reason why I'm so disappointed, you know, um, because I gave you so many tips on, um, on what to do and what not to do. And when you look at the paper, you know, um, naturally, the one thing that you did correct, uh, did, did wonderfully, you checked off all the check marks of all the things that I gave you as tips. However, none of them were implemented. So no, I implemented, I don't know why it is not committed. If you look at now also, like, I don't know, can you, can we go to GitHub? Uh, no, I, I, this is, this is, uh, this is coming straight from GitHub, what I had in the morning and I oh. had the fresh commit. Uh, I had a first thing done in the morning. I can only give you comments on what, what has been there uh, in the morning, not what you have done now between the morning. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right? So I don't have any time to discuss this. I will be discussing to you, uh, well, uh, regardless of this, what you had okay. done before is you checked off all these check marks without doing any of them. No. I so think... and, 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 uh, it's, it's proven in GitHub. We don't have to. Uh, try to argue against this. 
Okay, okay. So you, when you look at the uh, at the table of contents, why is this capitalized here, for example, that you should probably not do. But then, okay, in, okay. when you look in more detail in your analysis, or, you may want to even consider increasing the font sizes and you have all these strange things here uh, on okay. top of the figures. It looks a little bit unprofessional, right? Okay. So, um, when we when we look at the at the data and you had a section in there that that discusses here in uh, in this subjective analysis i'm i'm giving you now an example okay form to subjective analysis of twitter messages during uh, uh during 2020 okay here we use twitter data uh to analyze uh, uh, tweets Result okay. subjective analysis are shown in figure 2 Okay. I don't understand what the subjective analysis is and what you're looking for. The only thing that you say is, is please look at the at the figure. It's self-explanatory what this figure is. So that, therefore, I don't explain to you what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I think we a little confused and we concentrated on the different thing instead of the original one. It's a great opportunity. And we'll, so we'll please, please be focused with what you are trying to explain, not just simply saying, this is, by the way, I've created a picture here. Please look at the picture and you figure out what the picture says. That's basically yeah. your paper. I'm, I'm, I'm extra harsh here. So, so okay, sure. So, yeah. so, um, uh, so then uh, don't do colons, do proper sections like, like this, but mostly it's this, it's this content that you're not looking into, right? So mm -hmm. now you say is I have a subjective analysis. So if I were to now look at this, I see now I, I cannot actually read this picture because the font is too small, okay. but I can, I can probably uh, guess what it means. It says woman mentioned and country mentioned. Where is this mentioned in your text? Okay, okay. There's okay. nothing mentioned in the text what you are analyzing. You simply say, so, oh, you know, there's Kamala Harris and there is woman mentioned and country mentioned. So what does it mean? Yeah. Okay. You know this because you have done the project. Yeah, yeah. No one else. Okay. You you do not convey what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Then okay. the biggest the biggest problem I have is, is with section eight. Mm -hmm. So if you read the section eight, this is complete um, uh, an unproven claim that you're putting in into your paper about something that you observe, which has nothing to do with the pictures that you include. Okay. So in the results, you say, says, oh, by the way, we watched television and we saw that uh, um, there was a fluctuation going on. So there, this is an unsubstantiated claim that you're making that's not backed up by any reference to any figure or any analysis that you have done, because otherwise there would be as seen in figure number one, as shown in algorithm number three, yeah. As uh, pointed out in this particular way, it's very clear to, to, to us that this happened. Here is a, a fluctuation graph that actually shows the, um, uh, what you actually claim in here. Um, and that uh, you should not do. Yeah, in, my view, yeah. Yeah. in my view, this is enough for the paper to, uh, 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 to, to get a real bad grade because you're claiming something that is not true or that can well it may be true but you haven't you haven't proven it you cannot write a paper on 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 uh, unsubstantiated claims right okay right you can do this in politics but you cannot do this in papers you, know? you can claim whatever you want uh, following the first uh, you know I, uh, whatever uh, amend, uh, amendment this is in the constitution or whatever so you can follow follow that that principle but this is a scientific paper scientific papers don't work on claims they work on this is my hypothesis this is what i have done to prove my hypothesis this is my conclusion your paper doesn't have nothing of that again this is a two-person project please be aware uh, that a paper is not just inclusion of of figures Okay. Uh, so do you have any questions on this? Mm, I think we have understood and we do have the data, but we did not convey very well. Yeah, it's a Wonderful. great opportunity. 
Yeah. Wonderful. I thank you. You know, from what I've heard here, is this is uh, you you have the understanding. By the way, I do not have any time to review re-review your paper anymore. Um, so I have to spend time on other papers, as this is the most reviewed paper that we actually had. And I okay. try, I try to mention this to you now. This is now the third time I mentioned the same thing to you, and so I don't think I have to repeat myself. Yeah. yeah sure. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We'll take care. Okay, cool, wonderful. So let's move on to the next group. So who wants to, uh, Cindy? Yeah, um, so 314. Uh, let's go to 314, 314. Oh, typo, four. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the residential power usage. This is an excellent outline, as you can see this shows that you have actually followed ourselves. And um, we have, uh, uh, if you can make this picture a little bit bigger, I'm not sure why it shows up so small. There may be lots of white space here. Yeah, it was very big. So I recently only shrink don't, that shrunk it. Don't, don't shrink it. We, we, we don't want to shrink it. It will automatically okay. be scaled uh, in the final version. So it's uh, just, just keep it the, just keep it okay. big or just make okay. it, keep I'll it change size. It. Yeah, so, um, uh, so this is a project. So you have the data. Um, um, although it's all right to make these screenshots, there is no uh, benefit from us to even see this. I think it would be better to have a description of um, this is what's in the data set. You know, and then you can describe what value kilowatt hour mean and what day of week means and what notes means. Yeah, uh, I have described it. Doing an, a screenshot of the data, the screenshot is not really that useful. Okay. Uh, in fact, we would like not, uh, you not to use a screenshot, but use uh, proper markdown tables and code descriptions, mm -hmm. but this is fine. This will be, will be working. However, when you use a figure two, oh, Oh yeah, you do. You you did that. Okay. So. So here I have a uh, question. Like, if I have done a uh, table correctly, like I have. Yes, you, you have. Uh, this is correct. Yes. Okay. So, uh, oh, wonderful. Um, can you uh, just uh, create from the, um, from the um, uh, performance data, can you create some kind of graph that showcases the difference between these different components? Maybe a histogram, okay. uh, a, a, a vert, uh, a, a bar chart basically, where you say so this is on the bottom, you have data processing and then you, you have the time there. You know, that, okay. that, that would showcase then um, the difference between the uh, algorithms. I'm not sure if you have done that. You haven't done that, right? No, no, I haven't okay. done that. Um, you mean the algorithm with different algorithm or different steps of this? Uh, that, that's up to you on how you want to structure this. So, but, but apparently you have done a benchmark, right? The benchmark is really yeah. good. However, the benchmark in the table is even wonderful. Don't delete it. What, what okay. I'm uh, asking you to do is, is, is display the benchmark with a graph so that those who don't have the time to look in, in each of the, of the data things that, that mm -hmm. you, desc you describe, okay, uh, you know, we can actually see that light in G in BM takes such a long time. Uh, make sure as you, you already have a section on this in here that describes, you know, uh, what you have actually done. So, um, um, uh, so this seems to be uh, coming a very good paper, right? So uh, superficially from what I, I can see here. Do you have any specific question that you would like to ask? Yeah, I have uh, import or copied a image uh, from an external source. So just wanted to see if I have cited it correctly Yeah, this one. Uh, yes, that's correctly cited. Okay, you, you, then... don't have to, you don't have to put, while the, the uh, use, um, yeah, I think it's important to have the year because it's not uh, 
it's it's also mentioned here on top you know so you can remove the year if you if you want to but you can leave it this is perfect okay and uh, how should we reference the uh, python code like i have added a oh, uh, link uh, to python code oh um so there are there are some programs that you can add to your browser so one of the things let's let's try i've never really tried this um uh, so let's uh let's go to the uh, um to the github repository i'm i'm going now to a random repository right um mm -hmm. so let's um, go to someone's code um 314 right so here we go uh, we go to your project and in here you have the code which is a directory so now i have added to my uh um, and to my thing um, um copy program so oh actually we are not doing latex here right uh, okay, let me just double check yes we are not doing latex here so but but uh, uh this will then um you can then modify this here and you can simply say you know this is your code and simply say is this um uh cine whatever the last name is so and then um, uh, you naturally this is a url uh, oh sorry um, um, code um, since this is a url you can make it like this And you simply say here available online. Uh, this should be in the report, right? Uh, yeah, um, I will be adding this to your report, and then uh, we have a we have a date here. Uh, um, so <clears throat> so, and then. Uh, you do something like this, you know. So this is uh, uh, what 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 is the topic that you have, or Cine, maybe Cine uh, code. Cool. I'm not sure if this was one n or two n's, right? So one n. Um, uh, now, when we when we go in into your report. And I'm modifying it right now. Um, uh, so, in the report, I have added some word. Like I have added it as a reference. Yeah. So uh, um, I'm just putting this yeah. stuff in here, right? So you can okay. you can delete this later on, and and uh, make um, make this more beautiful. But then um, yeah, on the top eighth one. Yeah, eighth one, eighth reference was the reference to my code. Yes, and then uh, if you want to highlight it, and this is not required, but if you want to highlight it, you can do after the keywords, or you can do code. And this was not included in our template. That's the reason why we are not requiring it. And then um, uh, you can uh, do. Um, Is available at and then uh, something like this, right? So this will be uh, nicely visible. And this is something that I just made up, right? Mm -hmm. If you have cited it in the in the in the uh, program, that is fine. As, as yeah, you, I you have cited made, it. I, I made some mistake here, otherwise this thing would be. Uh, no, I didn't make a mistake. This is how it comes up. Yeah. So you you can fix this. Okay. Okay. And uh, if you have multiple codes, then you naturally have multiple citations. Okay. I have just one. And and this one here just points to the code directory. If you have just mm -hmm. one in there, that is just sufficient. You don't have to. Yeah, point uh, to actually, I have done it in that assets or data pre-processing. Uh, can you check if it is correct? I mean, the way I've done this correct, like 
uh, I don't understand your question. So uh, do, I, do I need to check the code or do I need to check the report? Um, the report, like I have already referenced it. Uh, I don't know where I have referenced it. Maybe you can check by Python. Which, which number is it? Eight. Yeah, you have referenced it here, yeah. Uh, is this enough? Yeah, this I mean, is enough. Uh, just do me a favor, make a space in front of the squares. It's easier for me to parse them. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, good. Okay. So let's, uh, any other question? Yeah, uh, now, like, um, how should we submit it? Like, should we submit uh, it to Canvas? The only, only thing that you need to do is, is just fix the errors that, that we have made and then, um, uh, for me, uh, so the, the, the submission is actually for the teaching assistants as, or AI, so it's not for me. Um, okay. I only look at the report page, I never look at Canvas. But the teaching assistants uh, insist that uh, there needs to be a submission done through Canvas. And, uh, uh -huh. and what you just do is, is, is you copy the URL from, uh, from, your, uh, from your report, uh, uh -huh. this one here, and just submit it. Uh, through Canvas. Okay, so under which assignment should we submit? Uh, assignment 11? Or will there be any honestly, final? Honestly, I really don't know because I've never looked at Canvas. Um, okay. I would assume it's assignment 11 because that's probably the last assignment that was being. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, in one of the assignments, Vibhata said that um, you have to. There are some questions to be answered, like uh, yes or no, if it has project code. So where should we do that? Um, yeah, just answer the question. I mean, uh, it, it is not clear. Oh, it's not clear? I will no. ask this teaching assistant who has uh, sent out that particular email to make a clarification. Why don't you send, okay. send a concrete question to Piazza? And then a yeah, question sure. is being sent out if that is not clear. As I said, this is I have not looked at this. Uh, you know, from my perspective, this is, you know, okay. can, this is just yeah. complicated. <laughs> this, is, this is easy. Have it in this page and make sure that the link is there. And then uh, we look at your paper, and the paper should have, should have everything included. Right? So, but uh, yeah. the teaching assistants insist on on a different mechanism. So let's satisfy their requirements. Okay. 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 And I'll post in Piazza. Okay, good, uh, cool. Uh, so who's next? Yeah. Uh, I see Fauzan there. Did we already speak or not? I can't really remember. Uh, yeah, hello. Yeah, 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 have you already spoken today or not? Uh, not yet. I okay. So let's yeah, go. actually. Which report number do you have? Three one three. And we, we saw that Matt just disappeared. So why is Matt disappearing? So, uh, well, three one three, right? Yeah, three one. Anybody three. has to go early, then you need to be interrupting me, and uh, you need to be speaking up, right? So. Yeah. So I actually change my my title here uh, we, we, yeah we don't, we don't care what your title is as long as you have a, a reasonable report right so as you can see this is your stuff fails right so when we when we go here and we look at this and i show it to you again there's this check report so i clicked on this i right clicked on the on the icon i go to the check report the check report gives me this particular page. Here sees the red thing. I just have to click on this and I have to click on the build. The build showcases me what you have done wrong, right? So here, mm -hmm. for example, you're using Ill illegal quotes. And the reason why you do this is, is because you're using likely Microsoft words that, that invents their own version of quotes. So just um, that is not marked down. So just make sure that you use the right versions of quotes. Uh, okay, yeah, I actually used uh, uh, Markdown Editor and uploaded okay, the file. Don't, don't use that Markdown Editor because it actually does not comply to regular Markdown. So okay. uh, and then um, uh, what you, 
uh, what you will uh, will have to do is, is, is make sure that your sections are now in order. And as you can see, is, is there's a whole gap missing here, right? So my yeah. recommendation for you is this, is, is, we cannot review anything from this point mm. on, really. We expect now a final paper. So since you have not taken up the opportunity to present us with something, it's very difficult for us to give improvement suggestions. Like for example, the previous group that we actually had that did the, uh, uh, the, three, the three person group, right? So we gave them very detailed um, improvement suggestions. We are running out of time. My recommendation is, is you have this done by Monday. So that someone can actually look at this stuff. Otherwise you will be submitting the final version. No one will be, uh, will be reviewing your paper and you may feel sorry about it that you haven't actually used our, uh, what is it? Uh, 12 weeks of uh, us offering uh, feedback on anybody's report. So that's up to you really. So how, how, you, how you handle that. Yeah, I, I actually took my time uh, quite long to the, the, uh, the, to develop the, the... No, no, no sweat, we understand. You know, we, we all take our time. So I agree, that takes time. I take my time too long for many things either to... One mm -hmm. of my problems is, is I'm sometimes uh, trying to be uh, in my projects. Uh, you know, I, I sometimes feel embarrassed that I don't show my progress to other people. And, uh, you should not do that. You should show your progress despite the fact that you may not be finished. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I also have a question. Uh, if I change my my title in my in my in my in my uh, report repositories, uh, will it uh, change automatically? in the no in you the just report. you just go to the reports page and there's this edit this mm -hmm. page thing and then mm -hmm. you can edit this page and can create a pull request with your correction into it and this is all nicely formatted here so as you can see is this, this is what is your what what was your idea again uh 313 313 so let's just search for 313 313 so the only thing i have mm -hmm. to do is, is, is do whatever title you you want to have in here and mm -hmm. uh, that will be fine. Then a pull request is being called. I see the pull request and I will accept it. No issue. Okay. Okay. And so, so I I only need to edit in my repo and then uh, click the no, no, no. edit. So you go to the GitHub web page. Yeah. So you you fix your your report in your repo. Then you get, mm -hmm. go to the cyber training DSC web page and mm -hmm. the reports page in contrast to your to your report there is an edit button on the page this however has an edit button on the side and you can click on the edit button and then you jump right in the page that's being edited and you can create a pull request mm -hmm. okay very simple okay uh, yeah and if not yeah. if not you send me an email and i fix it okay good mm -hmm. Any other okay, questions? Okay. Uh, for the check report button, it it, it only uh, it only checks the 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 uh, the compliance with the template, right? But for the status uh, button, the, the status is, button is being set uh, to final. We have posted this in Piazza. Is it? Uh, do we set it ourselves or? You set yeah, it. Or... Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Okay. This is how you notify us that that, that your paper is officially finished, and or actually me, the mm -hmm. the the TAs you inform through a Canvas submission. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, the button here has advantage that I re can review things. And if I, if I feel like that there are many things wrong, uh, I'm not doing it for, for everything. Um, I will sometimes set it back to in progress. And then you just have to check back this page. Okay, thank you. This is, this is impossible in Canvas to do. So, so that's, a, that's one of the limitations to Canvas. Right? So you don't have in Canvas some guy sitting there, you know, watching your Canvas submissions. Uh, here you have someone who's actually actively trying to help you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, so now I lost my, uh, uh, who's here? Oh, here we go. Uh, so any other question? And I'm, I apologize if you know, someone uh, wasn't here and needed to drop out. I saw Matthew popping up shortly and uh, would have been nice to talk to him. So any other person that hasn't been spoken to yet? Yeah, uh, oh. you already spoke to me, but yeah. I, I was wondering if you could speak to me again. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, so that's what the what this uh, hour is for. Yeah, okay. So I'm 317 again. Uh, 317? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. The basketball thing. Okay, good. Um. So I was wondering, so I, I try to, I think I fixed the uh, check report part. Um, the check thing. Um, I was just, I was trying to clarify again. So for the report without the programming, um, you wanted in the background section, you wanted um, all the data sets and like things that have been used um, and like the type of things that like are used for basketball in terms of like artificial intelligence and stuff like that. And so should I do more, should I do more explaining later so after let that me, or? Let me, let me just uh, rephrase this from uh, from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. You are typing, uh, you are writing about an, uh, an article that is entitled Big Data Analytics and the National Basketball Association. Right. Given an, uh, a reader that has no clue about what, what this is all about, uh, your paper needs to cover an introduction to this and give specifics on how they do this. The specifics okay. include what data is available and what algorithms are available and what analysis has been done. Plus, uh, if there's some results that have been presented by other people uh, through, for example, uh, in these algorithms that they're using. For example, it could be like that, uh, you know, the uh, Chicago Bulls only higher when uh, the average of uh, the three pointers is beyond a particular value and they consult this as part of the hiring process, right? So that would be a result, but it wouldn't be describing what the algorithm is actually doing. So in the previous section, you would be then uh, describing the algorithms part where you essentially say this is, this is algorithms for analyzing uh, data analytics in the National Basketball Association. There should okay. be maybe a, another section that says data in the use for big data analytics in the National Basketball Associations. This is one idea on how to structure your paper. There could be different ideas on how do you do this and how do you finally structure this? This is up to you. The, the most important part is this is, is the very first sentence that I started out with. You have a topic. How do you introduce a topic to someone? How do you tell them details about the topic? And in this particular, uh, in particular uh, thing, it's about uh, uh, data and analytics. And therefore you have to describe what data is there and what analytics is there and what consequences are there when you're doing the algorithms on this, on this data. You could even say, this, you know, uh, uh, I found this paper X that essentially says this data analytics and NBS is completely useless. Uh, uh, only thing that helps is um, uh, if you have a rich uh, uncle who bribes the, uh, uh, the recruiter from, um, uh, from Stanford University and puts them in, in, into a rowing team, I don't know. You know, but so um, just just to give an outrageous, stupid example, right? Uh, mm -hmm. but, but how do you convey this? This is really up to you, and you need to be identifying what are the important things that you need to be conveying to the reader because this is a report. And um, and um, uh, see, there's only four references there. Uh, Jeffrey said in the last week or the week before last. Uh, he recommends to have at least six references. I would strongly look in, into this if this is, is if this is uh, possible, mm -hmm. because uh, one of the things that you have not done is, is you haven't even cited any algorithms uh, that uh, maybe even written about them. So, like for example, uh, you do a classification, you know, uh, of of. Uh, uh, 
in, in a matter of fact, it would have been really easy for you to do something really cool. You could, you know, what I've just said is this is, um, you could have used k-means to classify the different, uh, in, in, in the different players. And you could have simply said, this is based on the classification. I can verify if this is a, 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 an excellent player or if this is a point forward or whatever these people are called, if this is a three, uh, pointer uh, expert or two pointer expert if the guy plays in defense and so you could have you could have done an analysis on this and uh, just with simple k means at least and done this and naturally the next set would have been is this to learn from the uh, analysis and to identify if for example uh, uh, a statistics of this has happened this is the property for that particular player. And then you put data in from another player that then automatically analyzes this. This would have been a really fantastic project and easy to do project actually. Um, uh, so um, you know, just, just to give you an idea, but, but, but the point is, is since you're writing a report, have such things been done? You know, and that's where you need to be looking into the into the background information. Okay. Into okay. the articles, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why maybe the four articles that you have may just uh, present you an, an introduction. Let's let's take this here, right? Mm -hmm. So this is actually not really an article. This is this is a news release, right? Mm -hmm. So this does not have any tangible real information. However, they point to an analytics conference. This analytics conference is the more uh, valuable uh, resource in my view, because there, there you find actually the real things. Now we need to be figuring out Okay, is this conference that took, oh, this, uh, is this a conference or is this just maybe the uh, conference refers to the, to the actual play? I don't know. But, yeah. but, uh, but the thing is, is, is the, the hope is when we go to um, maybe Google Scholar and um, I type in NBA data, analysis. Oh, here, yeah, look, right? So there are papers there in PDF format. This is a real paper, right? So that, that paper I can now read and um, can, can figure out, you know, what's actually happening in this paper here. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't have access rights here from, from, from where I am, but uh, uh, there's a download possible that you that you can can issue, um, and if you are in the VPN of uh, Indiana University, you can download these papers for free. So and then naturally, if you take a look at this, is how many papers are there? Eighty-seven thousand nine hundred results. <laughs> there ought to be one paper that you can look at in in more detail. It's it's uh, problematic to identify the uh, the good ones, right? But you know maybe you you start since. Uh, uh, 2020, right? Because you know that deep, a uh, deep uh, 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 learning has become a predominant topic. The other thing, the, the other thing, and how you can do this is, is you can look at Scikit Learn, and um, Scikit Learn has a, a wonderful overview, and uh, there is a classification here that uh, lists you all kinds of algorithms. Is any of these things useful for you? Yes, yes, it's very useful. You know? And uh, there is regression. Is anything of this useful for you? You don't have to do this with every of the of the ten thousand algorithms that you find in Scikit Learn, but you can give at least an algorithm. As I said, this is a clustering would have been really easy for you to do, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but but there is also deep learning like TensorFlow. So now, if you go back to this thing here, and we go to Google Scholar. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, Google's, uh, Google Scholar. And you were to type in, um, uh, and now 
TensorFlow flow deep uh, NBA. Well, uh, uh, we had thousand nine uh, thousand ninety references. So then you will take the TensorFlow and then describe that in the paper. Remember what? Remember if you listened to uh, Jeffrey's lectures from the first to the last, he introduced you to a variety of topics. These topics are application specific. <clears throat> However, each one of these topics may emphasize a different analysis feature. Now, when you go to his uh, his uh, lecture about sports, in sports, he introduced you to a wide variety of algorithms that are common in sports. So can you leverage his lecture that uh, augment basically what we just discussed? Uh, here are this, here's a list of algorithms that are being used in NBA. You could even be doing a survey and simply say, okay, when I look at 1,900 NBA, uh, when I look at, at 70,000 papers or 80,000 papers uh, in the title of, of, um, of Google Scholar, I find uh, 1,090 with uh, NBA and TensorFlow. I find uh, uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, maybe you don't want to use for TensorFlow, but PyTorch to, to, to give you something there, yeah, 92, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so then you can actually write, write and, and this is an easy thing to do really, right? As part of your report, this is not a project for programming, but a, a report. You could even say this is a survey of um, analytics algorithms on, uh, on uh, Google Scholar. And then you simply say, well, you know, there's, you know, okay, means 1,590. So I could do something where like <laughs> yeah. I go through yeah. each thing and then talk about the like amount. Yeah, now of each. Uh, right, and now if you um, uh, and again, this is not programming. This is still report. Now, if you are doing this analysis, I'm just giving this as an idea. Uh, you you can then uh, then simply create a statistics or a graph that simply says, okay, here are here are the important things, and then you can look up and. Uh, in uh, uh, maybe how do you do a histogram in Excel or whatever other thing you are using, or maybe a matplotlib, and you can plot these different things next to each other, and you can showcase you know <clears throat> what seems to be uh, uh, used, and then you can dif differentiate by year even. Right? Okay. See any time. Would I have to? If I made my own, would I have to like cite? Um my specific chart or no no you create this yourself and you so say, have you describe okay. <coughs> you describe what you have done and again okay. this would be one idea the other idea would be simply describing you know there are many different paper and uh, many different uh, things and how to do this and you list a couple of them right as an example mm -hmm. and then you go in into one in detail and here's okay. a what one would be doing in detail that that's another way of doing the report i actually think this this analysis of this google scholar is maybe not a bad idea yeah because it's easy, it's easy to do right this is almost like the like the project we discussed earlier the uh, the twitter feed analysis right so where they analyzed okay this is how many times kamala harris showed up right <laughs> do you basically have the same thing the only thing that you don't have is, is you don't have an api that queries this by the way, there is something called uh, Microsoft uh, um, Graph Database, maybe? Database. This does actually have a uh, uh, scholarly uh, uh, I've forgotten the name of it. Academic Graph. So this, by the way, has a REST interface to it. And what I've just done um, through the Google interface while issuing interactive queries, you could program this through a Python program to retrieve the number of um, um, you know, titles that include these particular searches. But okay. I, don't want to, I don't want to sidetrack you. This is more complicated than it's probably needing. One more question too. Um, 
in terms of finding out like each alg- algorithm, each um, what the NBA uses, is it something I just have to look up to just mm-hmm. figure out each one, or is it something like I, there's a specific thing I should go to to figure that out? No, this is this, this is exactly this. That's the that's the purpose of writing a report. This is your responsibility. Okay. Okay. So we don't give you any hints. You will have to research this, right? Okay. The hints you already have given. Actually, I'm I'm wrong. The hints you have already been given. The hints were already in Jeffrey's lecture. So he structured you in his lecture what kind of features are available so that you can apply what you have learned in theory on a concrete example, and in your case, NBA. Okay. Yeah, everything makes sense now. Thank you. Yeah. Any other question? Anybody else? Um, this question? Fauzan, do you have any other question? And no. make sure you sign off in Piazza that you have attended this meeting. And uh, sign off in Piazza. Yeah, go to the student answer in the post that has all the many names in it that were required to be attending today's lecture and put in the student answer your, 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 uh, your name. Then I know that you have uh, attended this meeting. Okay. Uh, is it in the, yeah, I, I opened Piazza. What, what was the name of the title, student? I don't know, I don't remember. I think there were only, uh, uh, this, this is important. Uh, students requested to attend, I would assume, right? Ah, uh, okay. So here is a student answer. And uh, you, you answer. ought to, uh, there is no student. Yeah, here is a student answer here. Now put your name in there, right? The student's answer, okay. Uh, sorry, what, what was the title look, in, in the... So look, it's very easy, unread, Things. If you go to unread in, the, in this thing, it's a, naturally I have read everything, you will be seeing all the unread ones and, and I've posted them today. So there should be the top two posts. So if you go to today, right? Look, there's mm-hmm. a today thing that says, ah, okay. yeah. to, to, this, 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 I, I mean, this is how Piazza works, right? So okay, yeah. you either go in this, I, I find it. One, yeah. you go in this, uh, it's in that one. There is a student answer, and only one of the students that we have from class has actually added this to the student answer. So, uh, okay, yeah, I found it. So, uh, it's too bad. Okay. okay, but that's that's how life works. Okay. So. Okay. Thank uh, you. Good. So, so you can go in there, and then uh, 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 I remember that Cindy was there. So. so. Okay, good. So you're in there. Sounds good. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, make use of the TAs in case you have other questions. Okay, thank you. So, Jeffrey, I think you can uh, switch off the recording. So, this is everything's done. Okay, we'll go. Uh, yeah. I thought you um, answered. You made some good points. Thank you. Yeah, I, I hope that uh, uh, that this is uh, uh, sufficient. Uh, so we have. Uh, yeah. I, I I think uh, with this extra help, uh, the quality will be significantly in, in, improved. And uh, yep, so with the the deadlines, the seventh is that right? Th- that is correct. Yes. Okay. So, um, there will be a challenge for many of the students to make it by the seventh. Well, yeah, well, they may. By the way, you're still recording. Uh, yeah.